Hi, beloveds, how are you doing? Hope all is well with you. So let's talk about one of the top, most common interview questions. One of the top questions that employers are definitely likely to ask you. It's one of what I feel are the top 10 interview questions. And you know, out of the top 10 interview questions that I think are the most common, um, employers will definitely ask at least half of those during an interview. And this is one, this is one of the top 10, which is, you know, why do you want to work here? Why do you want this job? Uh, why are you applying to this job? Okay, very, very common interview question. And like many common interview questions, um, they can be asked in many different ways. Uh, but the gist of it is the same. The core about what the employer is trying to get at is the same. It's just you know, oftentimes gonna be asked in different ways, but it's the same thing, okay? So when you prepare for this question, you can rest assured that whatever answer you come up with will still be appropriate for whatever line of questioning they ask, because again, they will change a few words, but they're pretty much getting at the same thing. So practicing this is very important. Um, you know, so just always be prepared. Uh, when I advise my clients about how to answer this question, I like to come at it from a like three point kind of thing. I start at the micro level, then I go a little higher, and then I go to the macro level. So let me tell you exactly what I mean. So at the micro level, you know, when you're preparing to answer this question, think about the specific job think about the specific role the specific duties that um that the job has okay um and to do this uh, you're going to want to do make sure that you review the job vacancy announcement the job ad very closely uh, what i like to do is take um, i like to print it out i know that's a little old-fashioned but i like to print it out get a highlighter and just really read through very carefully uh, what the job is asking and what the duties are what the responsibilities are to better understand where the position sits in the company as a whole okay so when you prepare for this uh to answer this question that's the first part to think about um, talk about why this specific role why these specific duties appeal to you why do these specific duties excite you and then at the next level uh, talk about why this specific company why this industry you know if it's healthcare why are you in the healthcare industry why does that appeal to you why does this specific organization appeal to you and to really get the answer to this you're going to need to do some research so that will definitely include number one reviewing the company's website that's the first primary source and then i like to look at third party um, resources um, that talk about the company but may not be exactly from the company okay so um, you're going to want to do some research there and then the third part of it is on that macro level you know like how does this fit into your life um how does this position in this company fit into your values into whatever your long-term goals are you know and that's going to take some self-reflection um, that's going to take some you know deep understanding of you know what your wants are what your values are and how this uh, job plays into that and so if you can get if you can get at this question from that three-part way starting out with you know why do these duties and why does this role appeal to you and then why does this specific company and industry appeal to you? And then how does it fit into your life, into your goals? Um, if you can answer those, that one, two, three, you're good to go. You're good to go. Now, I will say, um, not all of my colleagues out there who do uh, career coaching believe that you should focus on or even talk about how the position fits into your values. Okay, um, this is something that I believe um, is very important. Sometimes um, others may feel like just focusing on the job and the company um, are the most important things, but I don't think so. I really feel like we need to put in that extra third part to talk about how does this job, how does this role fit into our larger values? And I'll give you an example. Um, so uh, you may know that I teach college okay I love teaching um, and I love working with students and um, particularly you know college students and so um, when I applied to the job that I that I have now um, I specifically wanted something part-time I have too many other things going on that I love to do and I don't want a full-time job and so when I applied I talked about you know the one two three punch you know so when I got to the third part I talked about how this job fit into my values, um, my calling to teach, 
and um, my needs for work-life harmony and that um, I was not interested in anything that was full-time. Um, and so, you know what, the, the school, the academic institution, they didn't have a full-time job available. That's not what they were putting out there. So what they had and what I wanted matched. Also, um, they wouldn't want someone who, who would prefer a full-time, but because this is part-time, you know, they'll just take what they can get, you know, and then as soon as a full-time job opens up somewhere, they're gone, you know? So I think it's important for employers to understand what your values and your goals are, because if they know that this is what you really want, um, they'll be more comfortable with that and that you're not just taking this job because, um, you know, it's the best you can get or something like that. So um, I believe and I have found my lived experience and working with clients in my own experience has shown me that um, just talking about your values and how it fits into your life is very important, just as important as why you want to work at the company and why the specific job duties and the role appeal to you. And the last thing about this is I'll say, um, give each of those three parts pretty much equal weight, okay? Don't talk about the roles and duties 90% of the time, and then the other two parts, five and five. You know, try to even it out, you know? Um, and again, practice this question because they will ask you this question in one way or another. All right, I hope this is helpful for you. Um, if you're curious about um, how to answer any other interview questions or if you found this helpful, have any questions, just put it in the comments. I'm happy to chat with you about it. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.